Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 100A Drag, Drop, and Hit Action Script 2. It's a follow up to a tutorial Flash Tutorial Request 100. Click, Drag, and Drop AS2, and that's what I have opened on my computer. Here you click on an object and you can drag it and unclick. This person wants it that when you have some targets and you click and put it on the right target that it will say either try again or you have the correct the correct hit. So let's make sure all the layers are locked. Select the square layer, insert a layer, and call it targets. T-A-R-G-E-T-S. Um, before I do anything, I'm just going to show you what, what this one does. Test the movie. It's simply click, drag, and leave it go. I can drag them and leave them go. Very simple. So now I make I want to make some targets. So I'm going to come down to the bottom of my stage and I'm going to make them all circles. I'm going to pick up the oval tool and I'm going to make one circle, two circles, doesn't matter what size they are, three circles, four circles, there they are. And I'm going to pick my selection tool up. I'm going to click the center of this one here. And instead of red, I'm going to come down here to this bucket, click, and make it yellow. So that's going to correspond to that one. Pick up my selection tool again, click on, leave that one red. Click on this one, make sure the center is all fuzzy. Come down here, make this one green to match the green. And if I click the center of this one, I want to make this one blue. Click here and click blue. So now these are going to be my targets. Highlight this one. Right click, get on it. Right click, convert it to a symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected. And it's going to correspond to this one here, which is called Sir, I believe, as in circle. C-I-I-R, capital T, circle, target, underscore MC. I'm going to copy that. Right click, copy it. And while it's highlighted, open the properties panel and paste it in. And I'm just going to check here with my action script for a minute. And I have a square, an SQU, an REC, a CIR, and an oval, OVAL. Okay, I'm good. I'm back to my targets. This one corresponds to this one, so this one's got to be square target. Highlight it, right click, convert it to a symbol. I'm going to just paste in what I have already and change CIR to SQU. SQU. T underscore MC, copy that. And open the properties panel, paste it in for an instance name. The green is an oval. Right click, convert it to a symbol. Paste it in, make it oval T. O V A L T. Copy that. Paste that in for an instance name. And the last one here, the blue, click on it, right click, convert it to a symbol, paste what you have in, and I think this is REC, R-E-C, R-E-C, capital T, copy that, and paste that in for an instance name. Okay, so now let's write the, um, the code for the square, the red one. Make sure all the layers are locked. I'm selecting the actions code. Open it up. And it's when we release it here, square release. Uh, we want to stop the drag. Click on the end there. Put a couple enters in and type this code. Type, 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 type. We're going to do a test. If IF turns purple. Open bracket. SQU underscore MC. That's this movie clip right here. This square one that we're we're dragging and releasing period hit test small h capital t that turns blue open bracket square t underscore mc that's that target we made close bracket close bracket there's an open curly bracket for the if trace t-r-a-c-e that turns blue 
open bracket, quotation, SQU, close quotation, close bracket, semicolon, and there is a closed curly bracket, so there should be two closed curly brackets here. I just want to see if this logic works first. Control, test, movie, test. No errors. So I drag the square and put it on here and leave it go. It says square here in this output panel. So that logic works. Okay, so let's turn back to the timeline here for a minute. And let's go to the library. Click on the library. And I want to start with that square movie clip. Double click on it. Now we're inside that square movie clip. That's the one that we're dragging around. Uh, call this the uh, square SQU. Lock this layer. Insert a layer. Call it action script AS. And click on the actions layer, open it up, put a stop. S T O P, open, close bracket, semicolon. Now, select the square layer, insert a layer, call it text, T E X T. Select frame two, insert a blank keyframe or keyframe. Pick up your text tool right here, make a text box any size you want. Open the properties panel. I'm going to use blue. I'm going to use Times New Roman. I'm going to make it 30 points and click this embed here. Embed it. And upper, lower, numerals, punctuations. Okay. And make sure static text is selected here and classic text here. And in here, write T R Y. Oops, got to click on it. T R Y and then enter try again a g a i n try again go up to frame 99 there's 100 there's 99 click it get that blue square in there that fuzzy right click insert a keyframe so that's all the way up to there where we have this try again on frame 100 of the actions panel Click, right click, insert a blank keyframe. On this 99, right click, insert a blank keyframe. Select this frame 99, and you can be sure, look down here, 99 on this one. Open the actions panel. G-O-T-O, -O, go to A-N-D, and capital S-T-O-P, go to and stop. Capital A there and a capital S there. Open bracket, two, close bracket, semicolon. Oh, excuse me. One, go to one and stop. So it's going to, if you have the incorrect answer, it's going to jump to frame two, show that for a couple of seconds, and then jump back and stop on frame one. Now, here on frame 100, Insert a keyframe. Just double click in here and put in here correct. C O R R R E C T correct. And if you need to make your make it bigger, do this. Correct. Go up to frame two hundred. Right here, you can see it's dark in that one. Right click, insert a keyframe. There's that correct answer. And here, insert a blank keyframe. Open the Actions panel. G-O-T-O, -O, capital A, and the go to, capital S-T-O-P, open bracket, one, close bracket, semicolon. So maybe this will work, maybe it won't. Okay, so now let's try it with the correct answer. Control, test, movie, test. That means if I put this and put here, leave it go, it says square one, but nothing happened. So for some reason, I don't have it. Oh, I didn't put the code in. Of course, got to put the code in. Back to scene one. Open the actions panel. Right here, where we have this test we just made, where we're tracing square, 
we know this works so click in front of it two forward slashes just in case we need it later on enter here G oh, oh no 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 we got to say the movie clip first um, S Q U underscore M C that movie clip there's supposed to be an underscore here shift underscore period G O T O go to a N D go to and capital P L A Y go to and play and I think if it was correct we jumped up to frame 100 open bracket 100 close bracket semicolon so if it's correct control test movie test I have no errors click drag and it should jump to 100 where it says correct and a few seconds later it jumps back and I can do it again if I want it correct now if it's not correct we want it to go to that place where it says try again so right after this curly bracket here put a couple enters and type this code type 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 else ELSE -E, turns purple open bracket now you can copy this line and paste it in SQU underscore MC period go to and play open bracket two close bracket semicolon and there's your closed curly bracket now if we leave the square go and we're not on the right on the target on any target or not on the target it'll jump to try again so this should work so here it is here I'll take it and put it over here and leave it go and this says try again and I gotta wait till it runs through and it's behind here I can pick it up and put it on here when I leave it go it's gonna say correct so now all we got to do is write that same code for the the other objects so click here I'm sure exactly where I am click from here up to there where it says stop drag right click copy this come down here right after stop drag put a couple enters in paste what you copied and where you see square look up here it's gonna be rec R E C copy rec right click copy that put rec here so it's rec T paste it in here put it here rec paste it in here and paste it in here now copy this one here from here up to here right click copy come down to the next one which is circle at the end of the stop drag line couple enters paste it in this time we need circle C I R copy sir C I R copy it paste it here paste it here this is repetitious I know but it's just as easy to do this than turn it on and off for me now that that's good copy this right click copy and we have one more to do it's the oval click at the end of the stop drag line couple enters paste it in and change sir to oval O V A L copy oval it becomes oval T paste it there paste it there and paste it here now what we got to do is fix those movie clips open up the library select the square movie clip that we have done and these two layers here click on this layer the text layer hold your control down click on the action script layer right click copy those two layers copy those two layers go back to the library uh, select the rect movie clip lock this one call it rec rec and click out here right click paste layers so now we have our text layer and our 
action script layer. Go back to the library. We need the oval. Double click on it. Call this layer oval. O V A L. Lock it. Right click. Paste in the layers. There's our action script layers. And we have one more to do. It's the circle, I believe. Yep. Call this circle, C I R. Lock it. Right click, paste layers. And with a little bit of luck, test movie tests. We'll try the blue one. Leave it go. Correct. Gotta wait for it to run through. If that's too long, just move those tweens. It's doing that because I when when I move it and move it up and leave it go, soon I click it anyway, as soon as I leave it go, it's gonna say try again because you missed the target. Okay. So now let's pick this one. Leave it correct. I would leave it there if that's the game you're playing. To, let's try it, take it off, make sure that one works. This one, just leave it go, try again. Uh, this one, let's make it hit. And I think they all work. Hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.